Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another amazing example video here on this amazing channel. Uh, what we're going to go through today is just really simple, really, really simple scope explanation. So I, I realized I hadn't done this and it could be a little confusing and I shouldn't have done it like this far out in the series, but uh, I'll do it anyway. And uh, just so we don't miss anything, because it's really important when we talk about functions and things like that. So uh, what this means what this means is, take away string here, is that if we have a variable, okay, and int a equals 2, if we have a variable of the same name and the same type, we have a problem, okay, even if they have a different value. These have, like, a is connected to an address, right? And you can't have, the computer is going to be confused in which one to use, basically. So if we try to start this program, it's going to say multiple definitions redefinition multiple initialization okay you can't initialize initialization only happens once when a variable is created if I said a equals 12 here this is not an initialization because I'm not creating it here I'm just changing the value so that's uh, that's good to know so it's saying okay you made two a's but what if we did this what if we did this if we had another scope in here if true is just, it will go in here no matter what. That's why I wrote true here, because it's not even an if statement. All I wanted was these brackets here. Okay, so uh, here I redefined A again in here. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Can you guess what's going to happen? Are we going to get an error? Huh, hmm, we didn't get an error. Well, why is that? Why is that? Check this out. Check this out. What's going to happen now? What's going to happen now? I wonder. What is going to happen? Oh, we didn't get an error. We have three A's in our program. We don't get an error. What is C++ doing? Well, this is called a scope. So is this, and so is this, and so is the whole program. Actually, if we made a variable out here, I think we might get a problem here. Uh, no, uh, never mind, we won't get a problem. But this is scope as well. You can. This is called a global global variable. All right. This is a local variable. Anything within a function scope, int main is a function, remember that. This is not a function, but it's still a scope. Anything within a scope here is called a local variable. Global variables are the ones defined outside any function and just straight up here, like in the code, um, in the file. And these can be accessed in any function at any time in this file. So if I made, remember if I make a, if I make a function here, void func, and I try to access a here, a equals 20, it's gonna grab this and it's gonna make it into 20. Okay, so uh, that's because this is global, this is outside, it can access anything here. But if we made an int b in here, b cannot be accessed anywhere else but within the scope. Okay, b is locked to the scope in here, and it, it can't be accessed anywhere else. So the thing is that scopes are important because even if we have an a outside, if we make another a inside, the computer is going to take and use the a that is closest to it, closest within its scope, okay? And this A is so cl is the closest within the scope, so it's gonna grab it. It's gonna say, okay, the only A I see right now is this one. I'm not gonna care about anything else. I'm gonna be in my scope, and I'm going to use the A that is in my scope. And the same here, it's gonna say, oh, I'm gonna use this A. Even if I said A down here, this, this part is closed. Like, after this bracket, this doesn't exist anymore. So this, a is of course going to take its own scopes A right here. Now I know it's a lot of weird wordings and stuff and maybe I'm not explaining it in the best way but I, I hope you understand in some way that it's going to grab the closest one to it. The easiest one, right? The closest and easiest one. So there you have a few different examples here and I hope this helped. I hope you know what a scope is now because we you have to take care when you're using these things and uh, you have to remember and always know what scope you're in when you're doing stuff and uh, not to uh, change a variable 
try to change a variable and it's it, it turns out you're changing a completely different variable and not the same thing just because the name is the same so uh yeah remember that hope you learned something thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video